Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about some history on some things again. One of the most important things that we're gonna be talking about today, why your local bike shop is important to you and what your local bike shop has done for the history of the sport of BMX. I was talking with someone the other day about why the history of BMX is so important and why you all out there need to know it. When we started Supercross BMX back in 1989, we were a bike shop. We actually started out of a bike shop called Power Plus Cycles. It was a little bike shop in Stanton, California, and that's where we started Supercross BMX out of. At that time, we were making tech leathers racing pants, got that upside down. And we were making tech leathers and we were doing them for the Redline factory team. We were doing them for the Haro factory team. And we were doing them for a little bike shop called s, &S Racing. Some of you know s, s Racing from making the Tiger Tooth. s, &S was a great mail order and little store down in Round Rock, Texas, ran by a wonderful lady, Michelle Sheehan, and her son, Ryan. What a wonderful family. Prior to us starting Supercross BMX, as we were working out of our little bike shop, we always had a good community of bike shops that worked together. We would work with Pedal Power Bike Shop, we would work with Bike Alley in our local area to try and make sure that BMX was able to grow. On a national level, with tech, we were able to sell tech pants to many bike shops around the country. s, &S was one of them that we did a lot of trading back and forth with. They used to have us bring in the jive panels, so they used to import these in from Ireland. Shout out to our Irish friends out there. How you doing, Lar? They used to manufacture the tiger teeth. And for all of you guys who didn't know, they used to make the bitchin' bolts. Anybody in history who used to have a problem with their redline flight cranks loosening up, s, s was the first one to take the 45 degree bevel bolt, 45 degree bevel washer, put it together, make it for the redline flight cranks, stop your redline flight cranks from loosening up. Everybody knows that the old flight cranks used to have the domed bubble bolt, a little flat washer and a lock washer. They'd always loosen. s, &S they created this. Everybody used to have a problem with their chain rings being out around, not being flat, not being straight. s, &S came up with tiger teeth. So here's a little bike shop that was innovating and trying to make your BMX experience better. With them, when we were doing tech, the frame I was riding at the time, can you believe it, I was riding, I actually rode one of my old frames, an old high-tech frame, and we didn't have decals for it, so I actually took Jive decals and put that on it. It wasn't too long after that that we came up with the Supercross frame. And when we first came up with the Supercross frame, s, &S was one of our first dealers to sell the Supercross bikes. And I'm proud of the fact that here, 34 years later, we're still great friends with them. Rob over at Kegels, Rockford, Illinois, he was one of our first dealers to sell Supercross. Still does sell Supercross. It's a great thing. I watched a video with Ronnie Bonner from UGP. Ronnie's still a great friend of ours. It was really cool. He did it for a little coffee company that Matt Cordova has been working on and somewhere we'll put a link up for that video. And Ronnie was talking about how when he first started UGP, he was doing it out of his garage, or actually out of his bedroom, doing all the silk screening under, equipment under his bed and how he's got all these long-term relationships. And that's exactly what you guys need as BMX racers with your local bike shop. If you don't have a good relationship with your local bike shop, it's gonna make it harder for you when you go out to the track because you're not gonna have some place that you need to go or not that you need to go to, but you're not gonna have some place that you want to go to, to go get those tires, to go get those tubes, to go get that replacement chain, to get your bike tuned up. I know in this day of internet world, everybody wants to be able to just go and buy it on the internet. We've been finding, and if you watch some of our Tech Tip Tuesday videos, people don't know how to do the basics. Basic bike repair has gone out the window and bike shops need to be there. Even with the old factories back in the day, you know, with Redline, for instance, 
they couldn't keep their cranks tight. They had that three quarter six spindle with the pinch bolt, and then they had the button head bolt and lock washer and a flat washer. For the actual true BMX racers who ran SNS, I mean, James Pritchard, one of our first Supercross BMX racers worked there. They were helping figure out the problems. Ryan Sheehan, the son of Michelle, the owner of SNS, was a racer. They were very active with BMX. And that's what you need. No matter what it is that you're doing in life, you need to have a good community. And that's what bike shops, BMX shops actually help provide for you. And it helps build your community and makes your community better. It makes your local track stronger to have a good BMX shop local that helps support you. It's gonna help get the word out. It's gonna help bring more people into what you do. It's gonna help take the secret of BMX and expand it. Everybody always says that BMX is the greatest sport that no one knows about. I'll agree with that. There's a lot of great sports out there. I watch everybody out at the soccer fields and it's amazing. I love watching that community. I watch everybody out at the baseball fields, the football fields, you know, there's so much community. BMX has a community. It needs to grow. And part of that is by making sure that we keep a good relationship with the bike shop. And that's with our side, with helping keep them stocked with good product to make sure that they can keep you stocked with having good product to be able to ride. The next time you stop by your local bike shop and if they've got tires in stock, if they've got tubes in stock, if they've got some frames on the wall, I mean, if you happen to stop into Northwest BMX, I just spoke with Eric this morning. If you walk in, he's got a row of frames. If you go see Shad up at Goods BMX, his shop is amazing. If you go see Rob at Kegels, if you go see all these different guys, all these different track shops, well, they're not track shops. They're track supporting shops that have teams, that have riders that go out there and ride. They believe in BMX just as much as you do. You need to get out there. You need to support them and make sure that they can support you. So guys, not trying to sound too preachy and not trying to sound too commercially here. Part of what has made BMX such a great thing is that the shops have been there to support you riders throughout your BMX racing career and your BMX racing adventure. So many of these shops have been around so long. Pat 605, we were talking the other day, they've been there for 64 years. Kegels has been there for over 50 years. Full Tilt is out there doing amazing things to support local riders, support international riders. I, I can go on and on. Northwest is out there vending. Riders Pro Shop is out there vending. You know, you've got shops like J&R who've been out there for over 30 years with a local shop doing vending. You know, all these people are putting their heart and soul out there. I'm not telling you what shop to go to. I'm actually telling you to please go support your local shop. We at Supercross, we sell our products to over 700 shops around the country. We want to make sure that we support your local shop. We want to make sure that that shop is there to help support you with your BMX adventure, your pump track adventure. And as we move on with things, you know, your dirt jump bike adventure, you know, your four cross bike adventure, whatever it is that you're riding, you know, if you've got two wheels between those legs and you're out there on a supercross, I want to make sure that you've got a local shop that's going to help support you and make sure that you get the most out of your experience with your riding. With SNS, what was a really cool thing is that we got to speak to the riders that worked there. We got to speak to their people all the time. And that's part of where we ended up stealing James Pritchard over and put him on our factory team. Chainsaw was awesome. And it was so cool that, you know, here he's working at a shop. So he was able to give direct feedback to the customers, direct feedback back to us. All right, guys, with that, grab the tiger by the tail, head on out to the track. And on the way, stop by the shop. Say hello to the guy who's working there. On the way, grab him a burrito, pick him up a Chipotle bowl. Those guys at the shop, they don't get a chance to get out and grab food all the time. They're stuck back there wrenching on bikes, 
making sure that you guys have the products that you need, they'd appreciate the support. They'd appreciate the love. They don't always get a chance to go out and grab the food. They're hungry. You, me, we're lucky. We get to go out to the track, which by the way, that's what we're gonna do right now. Get out to the track, get out and ride!